you know, before I get into the meat of this video, there's a few things I need to say up front that will serve as the intro to this masterpiece. Make sure you guys like or dislike this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell. And make sure that you share this masterpiece as a way to beat the YouTube algorithm. Now, of course, you guys know that I'm just playing. Um, shout out to David Carroll. David Carroll is one of uh, my favorite YouTubers, man. He, the guy is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But he, he says a lot of things that are true. And the reason why I did an imitation of his voice and kind of his whole beginning of the video is because when I stumbled upon the information I'm about to show you guys, it reminded me of something that David Carroll had said in a video. As a matter of fact, I had even said it in a video and didn't even realize it, you guys. And I said it in a video where I was talking about reasons, um, top five reasons that providers say no to black men, okay? And one of my top five reasons that providers say no to black men I said this, you guys. This one only seems to apply to the Shaniqua providers that refuse black male tricks. E-Man67 talked about this one, and I agree with his analysis. At first glance, this makes no sense that Shaniqua's will reject their own race. But black male tricks have got to understand the psychology of the Shaniqua in the modern dating market. Outside of providing, the Shaniqua's know they are the least desired, and their only dating option is black males. And that's still not guaranteed because they have to compete with Becky, Maria, and Mulan. The Shaniquas resent black men for having options in the open mating market. And this resent carries over when they're providing services. Shaniquas have given me multiple excuses why they don't see black male tricks. But in reality, it's to be vindictive for what they perceive as a slight in the open mating market. They see Brad's and Chad's paying them 80 roses for a pump and dump as acceptance in the open mating market. They want to use that newfound confidence as a way to establish their ability to let black male tricks know that they have the ability to reject them due to their false sense of having options. Number now that is, that is what I said, you guys. That basically, these broads are jealous of the options that black men have and since they cannot get zaddy in the open mating market, they are using escorting as a way to get close to zaddy the way black men can get close to white women. And they're also using it as a tool to deny black men to have power over them. And I said that, when I said that, you guys, I was just saying, okay, this is one of five reasons. This is not the primary reason. This is one of five reasons. I honestly thought like, like uh, my, my top reason for why, I don't even know what my top reason was in this video. What was my top reason? Uh, let's see. The, yes, that was my top reason. They're a poor judge of character and they blame it on black men. That would have been my biggest reason of all of them, you guys. That would have been my biggest reason of all of them. Not only just for uh, black women, but for all races of women. Uh, they deal with Pookie and Ray Ray, and they think that Pookie and Ray Ray are good tricks to do business with, and they find out that that is not the case. And what they do is they paint with a broad brush that this is what all black men must be like. And they, they do so unfairly against brothers who are educated and productive. But, you know, lately I stumbled across something while I was on 
uh, one of the escorting forms. And I saw it and I said, son of a bitch. I was right. And David Carroll was right. And I'm going to show you guys how David Carroll was right in a second. But this is me in the form, you guys. Okay. And this post originally, the post that I'm commenting on is a post by a, a chick named Thick Coco on Adult Look. So you guys can go look her up and see what she looks like. And she is saying, letting these Negroes gaslight a bunch of non-black escorts into servicing them, they feel entitled to your bodies, but the white guilt complex is strong as hell. Oh, well, couldn't be me. Signed a divested black woman. So that brought, once I saw that, you guys, and th this wasn't the only post, you guys. There's several posts in this form on adultlook.com where it, it clearly shows that this is more than money. This is more than some sort of imaginary reputation that black men have. This is more than that, especially when it comes to comes to black women this is uh it it appears that this is largely because escorting gives them a way to get next to zaddy think about it you guys in regular life zaddy would not even would not even pay attention to any of these broads okay brad and chad wouldn't even look at any of these broads unless one of these chicks worked with him and they absolutely had to say something to these Shaniquas. But with escorting, where Brad and Chad is just trying to get a pump and dump, Brad and Chad has to go to Shaniqua, especially if Shaniqua is offering a competitive price to Becky and Maria. He's going to go to Shaniqua. And like I said in the video, you guys, that's where they get their confidence from. You guys, that's where they get their confidence from. And here's another thing to add on to it. I don't know if David Carroll said this or not, but somebody brought this up. A lot of these swirlers in this space, you guys, are ex-prostitutes. A few of them are known ex-prostitutes. These swirlers slash I hate black men slash, you know, I, I'm the queen of the simps type uh, content creators. These women are ex-prostitutes for white men. Cynthia G has admitted to being a prostitute for white men. Uh, Paris Milan was exposed for being a prostitute for white men. And Crystal Swirls was also exposed for being a prostitute for white men. This is where they get their confidence and their ability to get white men from. It's not from regular everyday dating. It's not from no pink pill garbage that Crystal and Karazine is, is selling. It's not from any of these any of these fake channels with actors um, acting like they're couples and drumming up the emotions of these black women. No, they, they get their confidence from being an escort and they're like, oh, I get to get paid and I get to be next to white zaddy. You know, that that's really where they get their confidence from, bro. And I proved it right here. I'm responding. This is a, a comment from somebody else. And I even noted it. I said a divester that's an escort. Interesting. Now I'm starting to see the connection more clearly. But really, I was just right all along. I made a guess on it January of 2019. But now it's come to the, the prophecy has come to for fruition today or not today. When, when did I make this post? Let's see, when did I make this post? You guys, this post was on 15 hours ago. Made this post 15 hours ago. It just came to fruition now. Now, that doesn't invalidate the other reasons, but this one right here appears to me, at least, to be a growing one. Because I can tell you, the, the no black men allowed ads from a lot of these black providers, uh, the rate of those type of ads are getting worse. And I know what some of you are saying. Man, Mr. Tricks a lot. I'm tired of talking about this daggle. I'm tired of talking about how these Bushikwas will not see black men. I'm tired of even mentioning them. I don't even see Bushikwas anyway. So why does this matter? You guys, this matters 
because it is a matter of exposing what we know is true, but we can't prove it. But now, instead of not being able to prove it, we can document it, okay? We can document it. So when they try and gaslight, when they try and project, when they try and sidestep, you can show them this video that this is exactly what it is. So when you when you hear these divestors and the, basically divestors, you guys are squirrelers. That's why that's why I noted her. That's why I noted that she was a divester. She's a squirreler. She's a bedwinch. So when when a lot of these bedwinches and divestors say that they are leveling up, that they are leaving Blackistan, okay, that they they are divesting from the black man. OK, you need to start asking yourself, well, how is she going to go about this? Um, you need to look at how she looks. And if she does not, if she is not a an acceptable looking woman to any race of men, you need to really start asking yourselves, man, how, how is she divesting? In what way is she divesting? The, well, the answer is right here. She's divesting by becoming an escort and getting white men to call her for services. That's what she means by divesting. That's what it means to divest. That's what it means to take the pink pill. Okay, that's what all of this means. Because they ain't getting, they ain't getting, uh, rarely will any of them just get a white man off of straight, straight looks. Okay, straight looks and personality. Rarely will any of them get a white man off of that alone. This is the way that most of them will ever come face to face with a white man and i wanted to show you guys this now this is the reason why i played uh david why i did the david carroll impersonation at the beginning of the video because as soon as i saw this information i instantly thought of this video i was listening to one day and it's rabbit hole part 497 you guys go look at go to the free speech avenger and watch this video this video is hilarious but in this video this guy is a world famous artist who did a sculpture of that Black Lives Matter woman with her putting the fist up. And I don't know if you guys seen that sculpture, but he did it. OK, now this woman right here is not his wife. This woman is his side chick. OK, he was at an art event and everybody knew that this was his side chick. And they were like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you bringing your side chick to one of your art events? So to get so to get documentation of it, they asked him and his side chick, hey, would you like to take a picture? And he said, yeah, sure. And they took a picture and look how they look. Him, he looked like his fetish is going too far. Her, she looks exactly like the statement that David Carroll put in his video. Black women would rather be a white man's whore than a black man's wife. That's what it all comes down to. And I just wanted to make sure that I document it, you guys. And if you want to come to adultlook.com, you guys, and you want to come to this forum and you want to see this topic, it is, uh, it is a topic about discrimination against black men. Okay, you guys, and you can look at some of these, uh, some of these posts for yourself, and you can see exactly what uh, some of these black women are saying, and even some of these non-black women. Okay. And you can and you guys can also see how I won over a lot of the guys in the form. At first, they were against me, calling me cheap. And then all of a sudden I won them over because I was pointing out the bullshit left and right. But, yeah, you guys, that's absolutely it not only is what I said a year ago valid. It's been backed up by David Carroll, one of the bigger voices in this sector, and it was confirmed by an escort herself, you guys. So, yeah, you guys, I just wanted to point that out. I just wanted to make the connection. Maybe this can be a wider discussion within the space about uh, black women who date out, how they are actually going about dating out, the methods that they are using. And they can and hopefully guys can discuss if black women are using as es is using escorting as a means to meet more white men because they cannot meet white men off of their character and looks in real life. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. And like I said, you guys, make sure you guys hit the like button or dislike button, whichever you want to. Make sure you subscribe to this channel.
here I'm going to unsubscribe to myself and now I'm going to subscribe to myself and I'm going to hit the bell so I can get notifications from myself. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that share button because it allows me to share to Facebook, Twitter, uh, Blogger, I don't know if you guys use that, Reddit, Tumblr, and a bunch of other websites. Okay, you guys? All right, so that's pretty much it from there. And remember, you guys, if you ain't tricking, you ain't trying. Peace.